What's up, y'all? It's Network Brett. Today, I just want to talk about getting my first tech job. It's kind of funny. I started this networking channel basically as a way to network in the non-tech way. I figured I would uh, start talking to people, bumping shoulders with people that uh, are actually in tech. I wanted to be in tech, so I'm like, I'm going to make the Twitter. We'll start following people, whatnot. But um, I come from just a blue-collar pest control background. And I was working and I'm thinking I don't want to work uh, overtime. I had tried some other jobs, not pest control. Uh, I went back to pest control because it was a little more simple for my schedule and stuff. But, uh, you know, I had some construction jobs and it's just like, it seemed like every job I'd get was just so bad. I was like, nah, <laughs> can't work here forever. You know, a lot of these blue collar jobs, they want you to work like 50 hours. They don't even pay great. Like, I gotta do something, man. I gotta do something. So, this is actually kind of how my journey to even want to get into tech started. I always thought that I would be able to get into tech. I just didn't really know how or what way to go. I was having this conversation with my friend. They mentioned, yo, let's do the, uh, or they mentioned the CCNA. They said, how much do you know about networking? Jack shit. I don't care, though. I can learn. I ramble a little bit, you know, uh, they're more experienced with tech. But yeah, I'm no genius, but I did skip a grade. I don't know why I included this. This was years ago. And I just said, I'm tired of working these monkey ass jobs that are physical as hell and forced overtime. So if you're down, let's do it together, you know. And that was actually for the CCNA certification. They mentioned something about Linux. I don't even know what linux is at this point i literally do not know what linux is um i know hardly anything about computers nothing like that i don't have a tech background um in school we did some like html cc css stuff but it was like one semester where you know you're just following along i didn't really learn much you know but i felt like i had the aptitude so i basically was like yo man I'll figure what the fuck that is tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm literally telling them, like, I just looked up C CCNA on Reddit, and they said it's a good chance to get your foot in the door. So I started studying for the CCNA, and I realized very fast, that is a very hard exam. And it was kind of really over my head. Got discouraged. I took a break. And, uh, like, my cousin in tech said, I should probably start with some other certifications, really. Uh, more understanding of networking and hardware and such. So so I go and take my A+, and I failed. Besides the point. So I'm kind of distracted. This was 2021, and I just don't feel like I have the best route. But I was also an alcoholic, so I was kind of drinking a lot. I was kind of chilling. But then... I found out I have a daughter on the way. I'm like, okay, I got to get serious because I want to work a good job with good hours. I stumble upon this guy that calls himself a uh, Bowtied Cyber. This is not a pitch for him or anything, but this is basically exactly what I did. Um, he, he always is posting like how to get into cybersecurity in a decent amount of time. And me not knowing anything i'm like yeah i'm gonna try to do that so out of all the things here i pretty much did almost all of it so the first one i took was actually security plus i started looking over the network plus stuff started looking over the security plus stuff the security was actually more simple to me uh, both of those exams are more trivia they're not too lab heavy so that was one thing i'm like okay i'm gonna do get those get my foot in the door um, my daughter was born in this time so I'm studying I have a kid I'm exhausted all the time that's basically what's going on so I got my net plus I got my security plus um, I got my Splunk core certified and my Azure 900 both very simple certifications so I pretty much did all this I ended up buying a home lab, so I probably didn't need to buy a home lab. I could have did most of the labs in Packet Tracer, but I'm just telling you exactly what I did. So 
I get these certifications, I get the home lab, and I'm just listing out anything that I do, any type of te tech project I do. I do a Python tutorial. I'm putting it in my resume, you know. Um, so I'm putting the home lab stuff in my resume. So my resume is okay. I just don't have experience that is in tech. So um, the advice I got online, just say list self-study as it. You know, list your home lab, whatever. So my resume doesn't have tech yet. But I'm like, whatever, man. I'm going to send out these applications, see what happens. Now, I do have... This is my application sheet. I just got a piece of paper I had. I kept it in my pocket and I started applying everywhere on Indeed. So this is like 600 something applications I put out. And I would say it's pretty consistent. I would get one to two interviews per hundred. And um, I said no to a couple of jobs because... They were like too far, like the pay just didn't make sense. Like I'm not going to drive an hour to get like 16, 18 an hour. Like I'm, I'm taking a pay cut even though I'm not in tech. So it's kind of like you might have to, if you make decent money, you might have to take a pay cut. I didn't want to do that. So maybe I should have, I could have, I could have been in tech a year earlier. Really. But I, so I got 600 applications out. And I'm getting killed in some of these interviews, bro, to be honest. Like, some of these interviews, they're asking the hardest questions. They're asking stuff that, like, their listing seems simple for the job. You get there and the questions they're asking are just crazy. But all I did was I got some certifications, you know, spent like probably a thousand getting them or something. I put together a good portfolio. I got a website and stuff, but it's not... It's nothing that impressive. I really just like hammered out these applications. And uh, I finally did get an interview. A knock tech position at a pretty good company. Uh, I don't want to like list the pay. But it's above the national average. More than 50000 but not 100000 So I'm making pretty good money in my opinion. My first job in tech. It's really, really boring. I'm saying like extremely boring work but i got my foot in the door i feel like i accomplished what i set out to do um also not an alcoholic now but that's besides the point uh yeah i just feel like i'm getting my life together i'm gonna keep certain up i've been debating getting a degree but i'm not sure how worth it is rather than just keep gaining certs and experience i mean you could do both but that's my journey of how i got into tech nothing simple I mean, if you're watching this and think I sound like a genius, you must be really not a genius. I'm just a normal person, man. So I, if I can do it, you can do it. I don't have a tech background. I'm not some type of expert or anything. I mean, I could barely, I don't even know if I, I could probably build a computer, but, <laughs> but I'd have to watch a lot of Google tutorials. So if you're trying to get in tech, I think Net Plus or any other CompTIA like certification is a good start just try to get your foot in the door anywhere maybe you might have to take a pay cut i personally didn't so but also i had to bomb so many interviews and go through a lot of pain of interviews to to get a job where i'm not taking a pay cut so it all depends on what you got going on man i have a toddler so i'm as busy as anybody really so if you're trying to get a tech, keep going, man. I had to fill out 600 applications to get where I'm at. Other than that, I mean, years of studying, because this stuff doesn't come that natural to me. It's very boring stuff. When you're studying networking, I mean, I'd rather watch paint dry or watch grass grow or something, man. I don't know. I'd rather watch golf. I don't like golf. But just keep studying It'll eventually work out if you just keep doing it, man. That's all I can say.